with our rally off season report. We're going to finish our journey through the SEC in Oxford, Mississippi, sure. talking Lane Kiffin and Ole Miss football. Let's talk about Lane, though, and just his coaching journey. I mean, he had a very successful season last year, winning 10 regular season games for the first time in school history. Yes. But it's been quite the road to get to that point, right, JP? Yes, Lane Kiffin's uh, story arc has been a very unique one as a head coach. He became a head coach in the NFL at age 31 with Oakland. That tenure was very tenuous. He was a guy who was accused of not being honest with the front office, not being honest with the players. That one ended. He goes to Tennessee, and he only spends a year there before he goes to USC. And he had a little bit of success over there at USC, but then things went south, and guess what? Guy got fired on the tarmac. He got off the team plane. They talked to him. They said, hey, buddy, you ain't coming back to campus with us. Left his bags on the team bus. Bags went to campus. He went home. It was a whole thing. And so then what happened to him after that? Well, he links up with Nick Saban. We know uh, the Saban School for Wayward Coaches. It does a lot to rejuvenate careers. That's exactly what he did. Went and took a smaller job right after that, Florida Atlantic, and then he ends up at Ole Miss, which feels like a spot for him to be in. They're going to be doubted. It's a tough position in their division, but he's a guy who understands offensive football, probably one of the best play callers that I've seen in a very long time, and he's a guy who understands how to recruit to that school as well, and, and he goes off the script. A lot of coaches don't do the things that he does. You know, I think it was at one point he was following Arch Manning and no one else on Instagram, but Lane Kiffin gets what he, he has to do to be successful at Ole Miss.